Have you ever dreamed of becoming a billionaire when you grow up? Or have you dreamed of having all the knowledge in the world without even reading one page? Dreams. Who hasn't had one? When most people hear the word dreams, they think about the good and the bad ones you have when you go to bed. The good ones contain the rainbows and the unicorns and the princesses, and then they're the ugly ones with the monsters and the ghosts and the graveyards. And lastly, the dearest one of them all, the one where the sharp shooting forward of your rival soccer team has their right leg in a cast. Today, let's take a different turn and talk about the real dreams, the dreams that lead you to your future. According to Marian Webster, a dream is defined as a strongly desired goal or purpose. Dreaming is easy, whether you do it while you're in bed or while your LAL teacher is going on and on about complex and simple sentences. Today, I'm here to challenge you to reach your goal. There are many successful dreamers out there who have failed numerous times before actually succeeding. I already know that many of you do dream, but when you wake up, you convince yourself that your dream is impossible and create a list of reasons to bring yourself down. As Anthony Mullins once said, the only true limits you will experience in life are the ones you create or the ones you will let others impose upon you. If you can dream it, you can do it. Your imagination is what motivates you to have a successful career and to do better. And yes, you will experience a lot of hardship, a lot of pain, and a lot of failure. And yes, there will be moments when you ask yourself, why is this happening to me? There will be some rough patches here and there, but that is something you have to learn how to overcome. There are some people who just sit there and complain and don't do anything about it. Firstly, because of their fear of failure. What if I can't do this? What if I'm not good enough? Secondly, because of their fear of success. What if I won't be able to handle it? What if this is too much for me? You spend so much time learning about other people and their future but have you ever thought about yours? Let me talk to you about the first reason why people just can't achieve their main goal in life. Fear of failure. We are all afraid of failing. The definition of failure depends on your benchmarks and standards. For some of us, it is a chance for learning something new and not making that mistake again but for some of us, is an excuse to stop trying and to give up. According to www.mindtools.com, the fear of failure is also called adicophobia. It is when we let that fear stop us from moving forward to achieve our goals. My experience occurs in my daily life. I've always wanted to become an amazing dancer. I'm very compassionate about it and plan on doing it for a long time. But every time I go to class, I make a mistake and end up embarrassing myself. This went on for a while until I realized that I wasn't putting all my effort into it and definitely wasn't practicing enough. So I started practicing and started to see improvement. Instead of, not, instead of giving up, I used that opportunity to learn and to see exactly what I was doing wrong. 
I picked myself up and convinced myself that I was capable of doing better. Thank you.